Hi everybody, Lorraine here. I found this in the garage. It's liquid wrench. It's silicone spray. Thought I would try to see how this works in a dirt in a, I'm just gonna do a flip cup. I put a little bit in a bottle so that I could have a little more control over it. Um, so I'm just gonna get to it. I have um, some pre-mixed colors here. I have an ultramarine. I have a light magenta, some gold, um, the Master's Touch Rogue, and I have an island blue. I think what I'm going to do is start out, well, let's start out by just putting a couple drops of this in each color. There's three, three, Three. All right. Give them a little stir. Stuff doesn't smell very good. It smells kind of oily. So I don't know if I'll really like it in here. We'll see how it washes off. So I think I'll start with the ultramarine. Some of that in there. And I'll go to the light magenta. Put a little gold in there. I'll go with the island blue next. The stir sticks kind of in the way. Get rid of it. And then go with this dark magenta rogue. And I think I'll put just a bit of white in there, not a lot. And then we'll go around again. This is about a five ounce cup. I have an eight by 10 canvas. And according to the chart I got off of one of the ladies' websites, I'm sorry if I don't remember who it was, um, I should need about four ounces of paint. So this cup is going to be almost full before I flip it. Is that up? It's a little thick right there. Um, put the light magenta. of the gold in here. Uh, the island blue. All of these paints are mixed. One part paint to approximately two parts floor trawl and I do add a little bit of water if they tend if they um, look to be thick. That's just kind of my personal preference. I like them when they land in the cup to just have a little bit of a presence there and then it disappears after about a second. So here we go. Got a pretty full cup. Little dribbles. Give it a minute to settle down. 
curious how this is going to turn out. It might turn out beautiful and it might not. But like I said, it does smell a bit oily. So I'll give it a try. come out very pretty. Just gonna let this run down in the corners. Ooh, the gold looks really nice in there. And I never know what is right if I want to um, torch it before I stretch it or torch it after I stretch it. I think sometimes I tend to do both. I know that a lot of people do it a lot of different ways. I think today I'll just do both and see what happens. There's some pretty cells coming up already. See that white coming right up through. Okay, gonna move it around here. See what we come up with. A lot of tiny little cells. I don't know if you can see them. catch this and push it back on. Bring it back to our center a little bit. Bring it down to this edge. Catch it. Push it back on. Bring it back up to our center. Go over this way. This edge. Actually, it's making some pretty cells. Catch up the edges here. Like I had the perfect amount of paint. So thank you to whoever made that chart. It's very pretty. Very pretty cells. They're not cloudy looking. They're kind of wonky shaped from moving them around. Some really neat stretching going on right here. Wipe off my hand. Give it another torch to release any air bubbles that might have been left over in there. See if anything else comes up. That smell of oil, I'm kind of want to stay back. I don't know, because uh, <laughs> it's flammable. Oh, wow. That brought up a bunch of little tiny cells in there. It's pretty. 
pretty cool looking. Give it a minute here and um, I can bring the camera down so you can have a look at it. Still got quite a bit of paint sitting there. Let it run off a little bit this way. I like all the gold up at the top here. Okay. I'll pause you for a minute and bring you back for a close-up. Okay, so here we are. I'm bringing in a little closer. The colors are very pretty. They all stayed nice and bright. I like the gold. And there we have it. Silicone spray, not too bad. If you like my videos, please subscribe, share them with your friends, and thanks for watching. Bye.